Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A surgeon who branded his initials onto the livers of two transplant patients has been fined £10,000 and given a community service order. Simon Bramwell pleaded guilty to two counts of assault in December. His crimes, carried out at Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham, were discovered when the patients returned to hospital for further surgery. Asima Katecha reports. Mr Bramwell, what's your reaction? Simon Bramwell, once a respected surgeon, now a convicted criminal. What would you like to say to the patients, Mr Bramwell? Today, he was fined £10,000 after pleading guilty to assaulting two patients by marking his initials on their livers. His victims were undergoing liver transplants at the time. In court, Judge Paul Farrakusi told him this was conduct born of professional arrogance of such magnitude that it strayed into criminal behaviour. What you did was an abuse of power and a betrayal of trust that these patients had invested in you. Well, it was here at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham where Bramall committed his offences. He marked the livers in 2013 and it was a year later, after a disciplinary hearing, that he resigned from his post. Another of his patients, who also underwent a liver transplant by him, says he shouldn't be punished. Signing his work is just his way of showing the artwork he's done. And the fact that he's saved so many lives through all the operations he's carried out mine included because without him i wouldn't be here just makes me think he needs to carry on doing what he's good at brammel branded sb on the organs with an argon beam machine a heat projecting device usually used to stop any bleeding the crown prosecution service compared its imprint to a minor burn what happened was a crime and the criminal law applies equally to everybody including doctors and so it's important to to hold people to account when they commit a crime of, um, of assault and that's what's happened here. The markings were discovered after other surgeons noticed them during operations. Bramall betrayed the trust of his patients and took advantage of them when they were at their most vulnerable. The General Medical Council, which has already issued him with a formal warning, will now decide whether to take any further action against the surgeon. Seema Katecha, BBC News, Birmingham. A very bizarre story now, and a surgeon who used a special high-intensity beam to autograph the livers of two people as he operated on them was spared jail today. A court heard how one of the patients of Simon Bramall suffered intense feelings of violation after finding out the surgeon's initials had been branded on his liver. He is the surgeon who signed his own work. How many patients did you do this to, Mr Bramall? But there were no answers from Simon Bramall as he left court this afternoon, avoiding jail despite burning his initials into the livers of two patients. It was, said the judge, an abuse of power, a betrayal of trust and an act of professional arrogance. It had nothing to do with the procedure that he was undertaking at the time. It was done without the knowledge or consent of uh, the patients, uh, who were obviously unconscious at the time and didn't know anything about it. And uh, it was a crime. On two occasions, after transplanting a liver at Birmingham's Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Bramall used a tool intended for cauterising wounds to leave his initials on the organ. He told a nurse who saw him, I do this. He justified it to police as a foolhardy attempt to relieve tension at the end of a stressful shift. And although he knew it wouldn't cause lasting physical harm, the patient felt violated. But Simon Bramall was also described in court as one of the outstanding surgeons of his generation. Seven years ago, he successfully transplanted a liver saved from the wreckage of a burning plane and was interviewed by ITV News. It was covered in burnt aviation fuel and the foam that the fire services had used to put the fire out. But I opened the box and the liver appeared to be intact. Jeff Hughes, an antique dealer, is another former patient who says he owes his life to the surgeon and believes criminal prosecution was a step too far. I think the first words I, I said to my daughter was, uh, I don't know about, um, you know, being punished, he should get a medal and I hope he's signed my, my liver. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he should be proud of what he did with me.
And at court today, more than 20 former patients, relatives and colleagues came to support him. We all do things, we all say things. Um, we're in the heat of a moment, which um, we wish maybe in hindsight we hadn't said. Do you condone what he did? I think I said we all make mistakes. The General Medical Council will now review those mistakes and judge whether Simon Bramall is fit to continue practising after the judge said he'd eroded the bond of trust between a surgeon and his patient. Ben Chapman, News at 10, Birmingham. I've been